All right, today's the day for the big switchover. Uh, as many of you know, uh, down south in Florida, in my Mako boat, I switched over my trolling motor batteries from conventional uh, you know, lead acid batteries over to lithium batteries and just was really super happy with them. So I'm gonna switch over my uh, uh, walleye boat and do the same thing. Uh, let me show you what I'm gonna Basically do. Basically how I've got my ZV21 rigged up is I've got two uh, AGMs uh, uh, starting batteries there. Those are hitched up in parallel, so they're just giving, uh, you know, 12 volt to my engine. I'm not going to switch that. What I'm going to do is take out these three batteries, got one out already, and I'm going to uh, replace them with the two uh, D Dakota lithium batteries. Now, these three batteries were hooked up in series, so plus to minus, plus to minus, and then the two end pluses and minuses. Uh, Go to the trolling motor. For this, since these uh, batteries here, the lithium batteries, our 36 volt batteries, what I'm gonna do is just hook those in parallel, plus to plus, minus to minus, so that the whole system is doubling up uh, capacity, but I'm still just getting 36 volts out for the trolling motor. So that's my uh, deal. Thankfully got a lot of room down in the battery compartment in the ZV21. I do have the power pole charge unit in uh, this boat. And so what I've done is I went to the, the Seamonster app that it comes with, and turned off the charger uh, because I'll have to reconfigure that to have, again, just a 12 volt system with two batteries for my starting batteries. And then I'll have two lithium batteries uh, for my trolling motor batteries. But I got this turned off. I'll show you how to reconfigure it in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I had to do is figure out how to change around the, the little boxes they sit in. So it's pretty simple. I just took that third one out and I cut it in half. And I'm gonna put it right at the end of the other one here. I measure it up with the lithium battery. You can see it'll sit in there real nice. I get four screws in there. I'm gonna be screwing it right where Nitro screwed my old boxes in, so I'm pretty confident I won't hit anything. So pretty quick little solution to get basically new battery trays. All right, there you have it. Some extended trays here. You know, I just simply had to put the four screws in uh, they had silicone below those screws, so I put some silicone below mine. Had to improvise a little, find a different strap, because I didn't have a, another black strap, but we are ready to put batteries in. All right, there we go. Batteries in. One thing I noticed right away is I already got some extra space down in here. So these two lithium batteries actually take up less space. The other thing is, is lifting these batteries in, I would say that each one of these actually weighed less than, you know, one of the old um, deep cycle batteries that I had in there. So I'm obviously going to be reducing weight in the boat. And actually, that's a good thing, especially back here in the back. That helps the back end of the boat lift up a little. Might even get a little speed out of it. So right on the power pole website, there is a installation manual for this. So I'm going to get the installation manual here because what you want to do is look up how to actually hook up these two batteries in parallel basically what we have is one single 36 volt um, trolling motor battery now i know i've got two batteries but because i'm putting them in parallel plus to plus minus to minus it is actually seen as just one battery just with a lot of capacity, but one 36 volt battery. So this right in the manual here tells you how to connect up the red, blue, yellow, and black cables so that the uh, charge unit is hooked up correctly to these lithium batteries. Okay, all the wires are hooked up now. I will tell you, you know, I've got uh, here the minus to the minus and a jumper from plus to plus. Uh, the rest of them I'm intentionally not gonna show you exactly how I hooked them up because again, you need to look at the owner's manual for your battery setup for the charge unit to make sure you get their wires on the right post. But very self-explanatory, you won't have any issues with it. So now let's take and look at what we got to do in the app, the Seamonster app for power pole, so that we can configure in these new batteries. All right, so as you can see here, uh, I had shut down the charger, so we're gonna re-enable the charging. Um, yes, I think we're all ready to go here. So what it will do now is this little toggle on the left there, it turns that on. And what you'll see is, is that now it's showing just one battery and my charging battery. But I've actually got to go and configure this. 
So let me go like here to the upper left, the hamburger up there, configure charger, and I'm gonna leave my cranking battery the same, uh, 210 amp hour. But now under trolling battery, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch that to 120 amp hours. Now I was a little concerned about 120 amp hours compared to 300 or whatever it was before when I had uh, AGMs in here, but um, what happens with lithium batteries is, is they will use all of the 120 amp hours. And like I said, down in, in Florida, I just never had an issue and I actually run my trolling motor a little harder down there. Um, trolling motor battery type for the trolling batteries, I also got to change over to lithium. Okay, and then I just hit update. Successfully updated. So now let's go back to my boats. I actually have two of them on here. 2023 and you can see that things are a little out of balance you'll always kind of get that info with the charge unit uh, right away uh, just because it's got to get things all settled out but you can see I've got a 12 volt uh, starting battery I've got the 39.68 on the other one and we're gonna let her charge a while All right, so there you have it. My two new Dakota Lithium 36 volt batteries are in and ready to go. Uh, not very hard to do. I would say the thing that took the longest was modifying those trays to actually set them in the bottom down there. But as far as putting them in, hooking them up, configuring that uh, app a little bit, it was super easy to do. The advantages here is I think lithiums actually do run longer and stronger. Uh, when you're out on the water, they last a lot longer as far as the number of years that they last. And the other good thing is, is I think I'm reducing a little bit of weight here in the back of my boat. And that's going to give me a little bit more lift and a little bit more speed. So uh, don't be afraid to kind of retrofit those boats into lithium batteries. If I can do it, you can do it too.